This is a cutaway of one of our first prototypes of the demo four toroidal field coils that will form one of 14 limbs in our next prototype towards fusion energy. Um, so the demo four magnet is the first time we'll ever build a full spherical tokamak magnet set fully out of HTS magnets that will go to high field. Um, all of our magnets, all of the magnets that we've built to date and we will in future incorporate high temperature superconductors. High temperature superconductors are tapes that contain a layer of, uh, of rare earth barium copper oxide superconductor and this is the material that makes all of this possible. This is, um, this is a material that can carry exceptionally high current densities at elevated temperatures and in very high magnetic fields and this is what makes compact fusion possible. Um, what I want to tell you about today is how we actually go from tape to coil and all of the challenges that we have to accomplish on the way. So we take a whole bunch of HTS tapes that we're going to wind in parallel into coils. Um, we have a winding machine that will turn those tapes into a D-shaped coil for a toroidal field or a round coil for a poloidal field coil. Once we've wound those coils, we then solder impregnate them and that's to create a consolidated, robust structure in which current can share between all of those tapes. Once we have solder potted coils, we then need to bond the coils together to form larger structures of multiple coils. We need to electrically join them together so that current can get from coil to coil with low resistance. We then need to attach um, cooling plates um, that, that provide the cooling to the coils so that they can get down to cryogenic temperatures, which is 20 Kelvin. Um, and then we need to lastly provide a structural steel support around the coils to constrain the forces that those coils will experience when they're actually energized. The reason that high temperature superconductors are a game changer for fusion is twofold. The first is actually that they can support extremely high current densities in very strong magnetic fields, which is exactly what you need to build a high field magnet. And the second is that they can do this at an elevated temperature. So by high, we actually mean 20 degrees above absolute zero compared to four degrees above absolute zero, which is standard superconducting technology. Whilst that sounds modest, uh, cooling to 20 Kelvin is five times the thermal efficiency of cooling to four Kelvin. So it's a huge gain for uh, an energy producing plant.